Working on the Trans Am today. Taking the brake booster out, it didn't feel like it was 100%. It's quite a job. You got to get all the way behind there to get the bolts out. I had to take the wiring harness out and the relay out back there just to get at the uh, the nuts. Underneath by the brake pedal, it looks like there's a clip that goes to that thing. So this side shouldn't be too bad. Things loose right now. I just could take one nut off yet. Here's the brake booster removed. It was quite a job. Looks like maybe it did have a plating of some sort on it at one point, but it's been painted probably a couple few times already. Pretty sure I have to strip it before I send it into the guy. I'll send this guy this booster with this plunger right on it. Here it is cleaned up. Delco Marine. Gonna ship it off. Alright, we finally got our brake booster back. And it's looking quite beautiful. Until it's the same booster because the stamping is the same. And it's been several months, probably like four or five maybe? Or three? I don't know, since I ripped it out. And it's going to be a bit of a challenge putting it all back together. But we're going to hit it now. Product care instructions here, you're just supposed to wipe it off with a damp cloth. He's saying that this plating hardens, or may harden with age. But when it's fresh like this, it's kind of uh, delicate. Pretty dark over here underneath this four post lift. But I've cleaned up the power string box really good and put it back in. I don't know if I got the footage or not, but I did determine that it is day coated correct and stamped right in that top cover there. I bailed on getting it rebuilt because there's too many projects going on right now. The big challenge with getting it off was there's a bunch of crap on these threads. And it's really hard to get in there and to take all the stuff around it off. So to make sure those threads are cleaned up real good before I commence reassembly. Kept all my stuff together. Just trying to remember what all the stuff is even for. Pretty sure this was uh, that fuse block. This, as I recall, got stuffed inside there. Did not provide a new one. Got a new one of these plastic guys on here. He did make me pay extra for it though. Looks like some paint was on the top there. Well there it is installed. Looks quite nice in there, much better than it did. It takes quite a bit of mechanical dexterity to get them nuts started behind that thing. Put the engine in it and the hinge on it. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.